I have this completely different background. I was really into math and statistical analysis and worked, you know, in policy and worked with homeless people uh, directly. And from that, I started working using making uh, as art therapy uh, to connect with my clients. And that started off my train of, and love of craft and making. And from that, I started taking classes and building a repertoire of technique, uh, metalsmithing technique. Uh, and that kind of started my progression, you know, of getting more and more uh, into metalsmithing, building a studio organically of materials and uh, tools. Got a torch and a bench and a flex shaft and it was, I uh, started to kind of slowly and organically build a studio. Metal is the basis for everything I do. It's the main structure of everything I do. I may add other materials, uh, maybe fiber or other textile things, but um, it still is the basis for all of my pieces. My pieces in the show are related to transformation, I think, in a couple of ways. What I think is interesting is the 2D to 3D aspect of the pieces, where I start with the very 2D, and then I create it in 3D, but then when you wear it on the body, it's 2D again, and that play on the body, I think, has a transformation. And looking at it in the case or on the wall, you have one visual reaction to it, but then once you wear it, it changes the piece quite a bit. And it's all done with a bunch of interlocking Mobius strips, interwoven. It has this counterclockwise movement where it's moving in this arrow here, and it's light to this arrow pointing this way where it's small and it gets gradually bigger and it has this, what I call like a crescendo at the bottom of these interlocking Mobius strips. Um, what's great is it's really light and it has this very 3D tactile form. And when you put it on, it becomes, it just forms to your body. It has that feeling of moving from 2D to 3D, especially as you move. So the steps I go through to create a piece, are, you know, it typically starts with a sketch. I do a lot of line drawings and I think about like how the silhouette's going to be. I'm thinking about it on the body. Do I want something that's going to be drapey and long or do I want it tight on the neck or do I want it to nestle on your wrist or... I'm thinking about that first. So I start there and I kind of get an idea of the size I want and the way the silhouette's going to be. And then I start making. I'm going to make this pair of earrings, the Mobius strip pair of earrings. I start from like a basic line drawing and then I have all these measurements which tell me all the little parts that form the structure made out of like one inch little line segments. I have basically two elements. Wire, this nylon coated steel wire that has 49 little strands woven together, stainless steel wire, and then it's nylon coated. So it has this feeling, it's very thread-like, so I can manipulate it, but it has strength because of the steel. And then I, my other element I use are sterling silver tubing, little crimps and heishi. Getting out my fabricated ear wires, what I do is I typically start with a bunch of modular parts where I fabricate all of these ear wires. I have tons of different shapes. So I have something for each design. So I have the ear wires, I have the the crimps and I have my wire. My tools I use are cutters, wire cutters, and pliers, and a ruler, which is one of the most important things because everything needs to be precise, so I measure a lot. I'll take the wire, and I know I need to make a one inch line segment. So I'll cut the first one and measure it really carefully, and cut and then I'll measure all of them based off of the first one I cut so that they're equal, even though it might not be perfectly one inch. And a lot of counting and making little piles. And I think on this one, I want to add in some color, I think, because it's just all steel and it's kind of boring. So I'm going to add in some mint and lavender. I'm going to intersperse that, so I'm going to add a mint. So I'll need only 15 steel and then three of the color. And it'll be subtle. So now I'm ready to start fabricating all my little segments. 
take my line segment, put on one of my little tubes, and very carefully create a way for it to connect. I kind of put the end in. I don't want little ends peeking out, just so it finishes nice. And then, so I'm building all these little parts, these little modular parts. So here's one made. So I'll we'll make another one. So it's just very simple parts that are going to create this kind of graphical Mobius strip. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, after I've formed all my little line segments, I have my 14 little silk steel ones, and now I have two mint, one lavender. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line segment with the ear finding component so that I'm going to be able to attach it. So this becomes a line segment as well. That's why I have the tubing so that it becomes part of the piece. So what we'll do is I'm going to create one end of the line segment. I'm going to slide on my finding, and that becomes its own line segment. So I want it to be one inch like these ones. I want to make it as close to there as possible, but I also want this still to have movement. That looks pretty good. So it's still, it's good. So it still has movement. Let's check the same size about. Yep, looks good, same size. So now I'm ready to start building the structure of the Mobius strip. Let's see, we're gonna need eight inches times two to build the circular part. Okay, so we'll need eight inches times two, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna use the three millimeter now to differentiate, and we're gonna start building the structure on one side. So I put on my little line segments. I'm gonna break it up with the tubing. I think now about here, I'm gonna put on my mint. So I want some mint in there. Now I think about here, I'm gonna put on my ear wires. I want the mint to be up closer to the ear wire. And probably I need a, my purple one in here soon, let's see. So it's kind of intuitive. Even though I make sometimes things the same, it's, everyone's a little different. And then I'm gonna close this circle. So what I have now are all these line segments, right? Well, now we're gonna build the Mobius shape. So I'll take my other wire. I'm going to start weaving on the other side of the line segment. What I'm going to do is I'll do nine of these and flip to the next part. Flip the wire so it looks like a Mobius. So you can see it's really building up the structure of the piece. Carefully uh, crimp all of these little wires in a even Manner. I'm building up the structure. So you can see that we've built this Mobius strip structure and it's formed because of all the little line segments being held in place by this structure that we've created. The two mint here close to your, it'll be closer to your face and then the slight little lavender bit here opposite it. It's a constantly evolving process. I think it changes every six months. I definitely put myself on a fashion schedule where I push myself to create a collection every six months, and that's in my production work. And what is born out of that is my fine artwork reflects that as well, I think. My production work informs my fine artwork, and my fine artwork definitely informs what I'm doing in production. You know, when I first started, I was doing a fine jewelry with sterling silver and 18 karat gold. But if you look at those pieces, I see a lot of what I'm doing now in them. But it's not the same.